You can hide worksheets, and why would you want to do that? Well, if you have 50 worksheets and you're only focused on two, one's here and one's over there, but you don't want to reorder them, and whatever your purpose is, you can go ahead and hide all the other worksheets. That is temporarily until you want to unhide them. So to hide them, like let's say Utah, right-click on it and go to Hide, and it disappears. To bring it back, go ahead and right-click on any other available worksheet and go to Unhide. And there it is. Double-click to bring it back up, and there's Utah. Now, if you want to go ahead and hide two or more worksheets at the same time, if they're non-consecutive, like California and over here, Arizona, select California, hold down the Control key, and click on Arizona. So now that they're both selected, right-click on one of the selections and go ahead to Hide, and they both disappear. And then, of course, to bring them back, right-click on one of the available ones to unhide. And it doesn't allow you to select both at the same time, either using the Control key or the Shift key, which we'll go over in just a minute. You have to double click to unhide California, right click, go to unhide, oh, here we go again, and double click on Arizona, and now we're back. Now if you want to go ahead and do a bulk selection, again, click on one of them, and let's say I want California through Arizona, so click on California, hold down the shift key, click on Arizona, selects everything in between, right click, and go to hide. And now we have to do it again, right click to unhide, one at a time folks, go ahead and talks amongst yourselves as I quickly do this. And if you're by yourself, that's okay because I'll do the talking for us until I'm done unhiding each and every one, which is almost done because the last one is right now. Oh, there's Arizona, double click, and we're good. Now, it doesn't allow you to hide all the worksheets. If you try to select all of them and hide them, it's going to give you the raspberries and say you can't do that. If you want to be able to hide all the worksheets, that's hiding a workbook. And to hide a workbook, well... Let me bring up more than just one workbook. You can see down below on the taskbar, I've got one workbook open. So if I right click on the one that's open, the button that is down at the taskbar, I get the jump list and I can go ahead and click on Excel to open up Excel 2019 again. In a new workbook, there's book one. Let me right click again. Let's do that again because that was fun. And open up another workbook, Excel. So we get two of them. So we have the original hide sheets and it gets cut off. Then you have book one and book two. So let's go ahead and select book one here. And you can see it up on the title bar, book one. Now, to be able to hide that book, and you may want to do this because you want to keep it open and available and then unhide it when you're ready or for a presentation so there's less clutter, as it were. Go ahead and click on the View tab, go to the Window group, and there it is, Hide. You can see in the pop-up, it'll hide the current window. Click on it, and book one is gone. Now we're at book two, and you can see down below, for each window I have open, I have a corresponding button that I can click on to minimize the book and look, Book 2 is there to minimize it. It minimizes it down to the taskbar. Click on it again to restore it. To hide that one, View tab, to hide, and then, of course, to bring them all back, come up here, click on the View tab, go to Unhide, and we're going to have to double click on each one because it, it doesn't allow you to do multiple selections to unhide them all at the same time. So here we go again. Double click Book 1, Unhide, and double click Book 2, and great. Now, as I mentioned down below, you got your name cut off. So if you have a bunch of workbooks open and they all begin with the same name and it's hard to identify the name in full because, well, you got these workbooks open and maybe a bunch of other windows, what you can do is come up here on the View tab, go to the Window group, and switch windows. And it'll do two things. One, it'll switch the window. But if you click on the drop down arrow, it'll list those windows first that you want to switch to. So then I can go, oh, where down below it says hide sheets and, what's and? It's right there, workbooks, because it's not being cut off by other windows that are open. So that way, if I want to go ahead and jump to it, select it, takes me right to it. Oh, fun. Okay, exercise time is over. Let's go ahead and close out of those other workbooks so I can right click on that button and close that workbook and not save it or just go to book two and close out and not save it. And the last thing I want to show you is that if I come up here and I hide this workbook and I'm okay with it being hidden because maybe next time I bring it open I want it to be hidden so I don't have eyes looking over my shoulder. This is kind of like, hey, I opened it up and I realized that this is not for everybody or maybe it's a presentation and I'm holding them in suspense or to avoid clutter, things like that. And then when you're ready, go ahead and you don't have the save button, but you can save it by coming over here and closing out of it. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to save your changes? You're hiding this workbook. It knows it. Do you want to save it? Yes. So next time when you open it up and it's right there, my workbook, it's on the desktop. When I double click on it, you're like, what the fudge? Where did it go? 
Well, because you watched the training video, you know where to go. Click on the View tab and go to Window Group and click Unhide. And there you go, double click. It'd be a great April Fool's joke, but we only use Microsoft for good, not evil. And you want to keep in mind when it comes to hidden worksheets and workbooks, while they're not visible, can still be referenced from other worksheets and workbooks. You can still link to them. It's hidden to us, but not to Excel. It'll still pull in the data if you have them linked. And then be sure to save your work. That is, so next time you open it back up, this won't be hidden, unless that's what you'd like. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.